What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for The Legend of Zelda? Welcome back. I am Tom. This is Lady Lacey, and we are taking a deep dive into our Legend of Zelda collection to see if we have 1,000 Zelda-related items in one of Nintendo's biggest franchises ever. So we're having a lot of fun with this. Uh, we are doing these in a series of videos. We're also putting out a series of shorts because, you know, sometimes when you have like keychains and everything, it's like, eh, there's not really a whole lot to say about those. So we're we, finding out we have a lot of Zelda we stuff. We really, we're, really do. I have no doubt that we will hit that thousand mark because it's like literally every time we turn around. Oh, look, that's Zelda. Oh, hey, that's Zelda. Oh, hey, guess what? So it's this. <laughs> So we are going to keep the count going. I wanted to take a look at some of the uh, the fun official items out there. First of all, how great is this? It's for the Nintendo Switch. It is no one's going to see because <laughs> it's inside the machine. Right? A micro SD card. Hey, 64 gigabytes, no less. But yeah, this little SanDisk micro SD card has the crest design on it. And it's also like this nice matte finish white. It's official. So it is official. It's got that great design. And as Lacey said, no one's even going nope. to see this. But we got it. So we know it's there and it counts. <laughs> Something we had got some time ago were these Link Master Sword. Uh, I don't think they're mints. I think they're like orange yeah, candies. Candy. And the funny thing is... They're still in there. They are still in there. How old are these, do you think? At least 10 years old. Oh, my gosh. They're well, little tiny Zelda swords. Pew, 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 ow. pew. Ow. Ow. How they ow. taste. Beep, beep. Be they're really cute though and actually really highly detailed for as tiny as they are they are and you've got that nice pixel link on there check out his eyeshadow i love that he, he looks so so good with them everybody looks good with green eyeshadow Want another one uh no thank you okay hashtag eat the sword game <laughs> we also have this game boy color book this is based off Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. So on the Game Boy Color, you have the duo of game, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. Supposed to be part of a trilogy. There's a whole history behind that. Was this something that we found at Siege? I think so. I know it was a I know it was at, at least one of the conventions we've been it, to. It was kind of a random find. We saw it there and I was like, yeah, I've totally got to get this. Yeah. First purchase of the day. This is a Scholastic book, so this is one of those things that you would have got in school if you were lucky enough to have brought some money to buy some Scholastic books that day. So not only is it just a story from the game, but of course, in classic Scholastic fashion, you've got these wonderful colored pages Look. of characters from the game. Blue hair, my favorite. Hey, Nehru, the Oracle of Ages herself. Varen, you've got all kinds of great characters in here. There's Maple the great Moblin, but it is official from Nintendo. It's got the seal and everything, and who doesn't love a little Zelda storybook? Put the kids to sleep. Now, the next two things are just some fun items that we found. This it's is... Not, it's not the ghost. It's not the ghost. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we're about to blow their minds there. It's the hat. So, it's a costume piece, an official World of Nintendo Legend of Zelda Link hat costume piece but it is way too small for my big fat head well it is youth size <laughs> hence why it's on the ghost yeah our little youth ghost, our youth ghost. there it's cute though it's a nice cloth hat and in all honesty if it could fit me i would probably wear it more than i needed to and you would be very embarrassed so i guess it's good that it fits on old clyde here oh, shut up i like it and then Last, for this video, we're going to take a look at the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Nintendo Switch case. It's a Switch Lite case. So, oh, so specifically for the Switch yeah. Lite. Ah, so don't try to put your OG Switch in there because it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. Now, this is a more cloth 
case it's got uh this this cover to it it's almost like that plastic that always freaks me out i feel like it's going to get scraped scratched mm -hmm. crunched up if it dries out too much or anything faded or like rubbed off just by going in and out of your backpack yeah so we don't use this this is purely display it does have the Hylian shield as the zipper pull. That's a nice little touch. I really touch. liked on the zipper that you've got the blue and yellow that when you zip it together, really shows that off. That is a nice touch. Now inside there is a single pocket, but not really anything else. I mean, this is a very form fitting piece, although it is very soft, almost like a felt on the inside. So you don't have to worry about your screen getting oh, scratched or anything. So it is nice, it is compact, but you know, it, it freaks us out to, to use it other than as a shelf filler. One, two, three, four, five more items on the road to 1000, but we're not done yet because we are going to toss it over to one of our nerdlings so they can show us something from their Legend of Zelda collection. Hey, what is up friends? I absolutely love the gauntlet that you've thrown down for the Zelda items. And I've been meaning to share a few of the items that I cherish that are Legend of Zelda themed. And I'm gonna start off with something I'm sure you already have this, and I'm sure a lot of people out there have it, because it is, in my opinion, the best 2D Legend of Zelda game that's out there, and actually also my favorite Legend of Zelda game that ever exists. And that is, boom, Link to the Past. This is my first thing I wanna share that's in my personal Legend of Zelda collection that I will continue to play at least once every single year. I can remember the very first time I ever beat this game, just having to sit back and realize that based upon everything I just played through, the awesome expert level dungeon design, the awesome amazing action RPG elements of it, and this overall being able to beat Ganon at the end and hold that Triforce above my head, uh, playing as Link, was just an amazing feeling. So this is my favorite Zelda game of all time. Um, and I wanted to share that as number one. The number two, and I'm trying to find out where it is, it's right here, okay, awesome, is this awesome uh, Defenders of the Triforce poster that I got from a um, escape room that my friends and I went to. Um, super cool, as you can see, that we actually, it was a team of, I think, five of us, if I remember correctly, it was either five or six, and we had to successfully go through an escape room that was all Legend of Zelda themed, um, going through all different uh, you know, aspects of the gameplay, exciting things that were thematic to the Legend of Zelda franchise, and overall it was just a ton of fun. I can say we came super close to escaping the escape room, but we didn't quite make it, but it only made us want to go back and try it again sometime. So uh, cheers to you guys for putting out this awesome kind of like uh, challenge and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Also, I uh, want to wish you guys a very happy holidays because I realize I'm doing this on Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas Eve, happy holidays, and thanks for putting out a great challenge. Peace out, you guys. That was awesome. It just goes to show there's way more Zelda stuff than we know out there. And every time I see one of these videos, it's like, oh, Guess I'll be getting online to hunt that down now, uh, unfortunately for my wallet. But thank you so much for sharing <laughs> your Zelda collection with us. And hey, anyone who wants to join with us, if you can make a video about two minutes or less, feel free to send it to the email. We would love to feature it in a future video as we continue our way to 1000 Zelda pieces. So like, comment, subscribe, and whether or not you're saving your breath for, you know, when you meet the princess, you're saving your games, you're saving your Switch, and telling stories all about it. It's it's all good in the land of Hyrule. So. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. You know you're gonna have to move, right? But seriously, Paul, you're in my spot. Ooh. Role of Tom Weston tonight will be played by Paul Weston. Apparently, he doesn't like that He's idea. He's like, no, I don't want to play. Beep beep, beep beep, beep beep, beep beep, beep beep, beep beep. A little bit chilly, feeling inside the house.